rapid rifle rolls inspire awe, because they give the impression that they must require superhuman reflexes and hand-eye coordination. We will reveal that there is a sequence that gives most pilots who have mastered slow rolls, the capacity to perform rifle rolls. The key to building up to rifle rolls is the crawl-walk-run approach. Let's start with a slow roll to the right on high rates. After initiating a small aileron input, we input left rudder, then push elevator, then right rudder, then pull elevator. Again, while holding a small amount of aileron, input, left, push, right, pull, left, push, right, pull. The trigger point to begin the left push right pull sequence is somewhat before the wings reach knife edge. Over time, start holding in more aileron, and get used to performing the input sequence faster. Left push right pull, left push right pull, left push right pull, left push right pull, left push right pull. At full aileron, the plane will be rolling so fast that there is no time to watch the wing positions throughout. Rather, focus on watching for the left rudder trigger point. The way I look at it is, left rudder is triggered as soon as we see the bottom of the wing when rolling from right to left. Or the top of the wing, when rolling from left to right. If the plane starts to drop, stop the descent by bumping the top left rudder more aggressively. You could also input more push. The most common mistake is holding in the inputs too long, to see what effect they're having. Note that the elapsed time for each rudder elevator input is a nanosecond, and therefore only a small super quick input can be performed in the time it's needed. 